Hi friends, today I am sharing my number one secret to combating depression. This is something that I initially got the idea from, um, from one of my books, The Depression Cure by Dr. Stephen Alardi, which I highly recommend. Um, and it is something that has stuck with me for many, many years now. And I really credit this first step in forging my path to not only living with depression, but eventually overcoming it. So this number one secret that I'd like to share with you is to interrupt your negative or pervasive thoughts. So I have kind of three simple steps that I've taken to do this. Um, by no means is this um, like a professional uh, method. It's just the way that I kind of interpreted uh, this thing and made it work for myself. And I hope that it can help someone else too. So the first step that I took um, was to notice what I was thinking. I know that sounds super dumb, notice what you're thinking, um, but the reality is that many of us go throughout the day completely unaware of all of the negative self-talk we have. And, or let's rephrase that a little bit. You probably notice that you're talking crap to yourself, but we don't fully understand how pervasive it is sometimes. Um, so the first step for me was to really think about what I was thinking about. Um, and that just required a level of awareness throughout my day that I didn't normally have. So instead of just going on autopilot, I would have to take time to kind of look back and think, oh, hold on, that was um, that was just a thought about, I, I thought of myself as fat or stupid um, or whatever the negative thing you're saying to yourself is. So just noticing that can be a big deal for a lot of people. Um, and then the second step I took was once I got a firm grasp of kind of some of those negative things I was telling myself, I picked one of the biggest ones, which for me was, um, I'm fat. That's probably what I would constantly tell myself throughout the day. Um, I picked that biggest one and I would really imagine this red stop sign and what it did for me was it really interrupted that negative thought pattern and allowed me to take that thought and either move away from it or step number three, reframe it. So again, step number three, reframing that thought. Um, this is something that is kind of like working a new muscle. It takes time to uh, get in the habit of doing this. Um, but once you do, it becomes easier and easier. So for example, if I noticed that I had a thought of um, you're just so fat and worthless, I would, I'd see that stop sign say stop and let's think about that in a different way. So how I might reframe it to myself could be um, something as simple as I don't need to be having those kind of thoughts about myself or thoughts like that don't really help me very much. Um, or I could even take it on a more positive note to um, I'm doing what I can with the energy I have today. Um, and that is a really big theme for me in most of my days, especially when I'm feeling like I'm not very functional. Um, I just have to kind of sit down and remind myself today I'm doing the best I can for me in this moment. I know that my best might not be even close to someone else's, um, but that's really all we have to work with is our own, our own best. Um, so those are kind of my three steps that I've used for that secret. Secret, it's not really a secret. Um, anyway, I hope that this is helpful to some of you. Um, so let's recap. Number one, notice the thoughts that you're having. Number two, interrupt the negative thoughts you're having. And number three, reframe that into something else more positive or something that allows you to move on from that thought pattern. All right, that's it for the video today and I hope you join me next time.